Review, 2022 Kia Stinger delivers performance value in a comfortable package. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. One of the best practical daily driver options on the market for an enthusiast is in selling. Kia sold just 13,517 Stingers in the US in 2021, down 20% 20 from the model's peak sales of 16,806 in 2018, which was its first year on the market. Despite the refresh for 2022, the rear-wheel drive hatchback sales are down 13% year-over-year. With a tweaked exterior with updated lighting elements, larger touchscreen, more standard safety equipment, and more power, the Stinger is more compelling than ever. Kia sent me a, nearly, base 2022 Stinger GT line painted in gorgeous Ascot green to determine if the update is a compelling proposition. Spoiler, the answer is yes. Power to the people. The biggest change for 2022 is what you can't see. Pop the hood and the base Stinger now features a 2.5-liter turbo 4 spinning out 300 horsepower and 311 lbft, which is an increase of 45 horsepower and 51 lbft over the outgoing 2.0-liter turbo 4. Power still goes to the rear wheels, all-wheel drive is an option through an 8-speed automatic transmission that snaps off clean shifts. Kia said the new turbo 4 pushes the Stinger from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds down from 5.9 seconds, and my but Dino said that feels about right. The available 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 with an uprated 368 horsepower and 376 horsepower will really lay on the power, but the new Turbo 4 provides plenty for day-to-day -day driving. The Turbo 4 feels lighter up front than V6 models and rear-wheel drive allows for some frisky movements around corners. The steering is well-weighted even in comfort mode. The larger Turbo 4 features terrific throttle response, but toggle the powertrain to sport mode and the throttle really wakes up as the transmission kicks down a gear or two. Annoyingly, sport mode locks out top gear and has the powertrain at about 2,300 rpm on the highway instead of a more relaxed and efficient 1,800 rpm. Quicker response cost me at the pump. The suspension is well sorted on the street with controlled body roll. Even on Minnesota's broken and pockmarked roads it's hard to upset the Stinger. The longer wheelbase over its Genesis G70 cousin pays dividends in right comfort, though the tuning of the Kia is a bit softer. More screen. Inside, the Stinger carries over lovely analog gauges that could have been ripped from an Audi. My GT Line tester's flat-bottom steering wheel is thicker than the Alfa Romeo Giulia's, but its perfect size provides a great driving position. The front buckets with thick bolsters are comfortable and hug in all the right places. But it's the new 10.3-inch touchscreen infotainment screen replacing the 7.0-inch screen that grabs the eyes. Its easy-to-use interface remains, but so does its lack of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto despite a wireless smartphone charging pad. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.